Amen. God bless you. Welcome to our daily devotion for Thursday night. And uh, I just want to uh, remind you of a couple of things. Tomorrow we do have our kingdom uh, pantry and we are still meeting uh, there at the church uh, as early as 8.30 till the uh, noon hour. Um, our, our food giveaway time period is 10 to 12. But again, all the support that you can give is greatly, greatly appreciated. And then also a fresh reminder, which if I haven't told you in a while, is the ability to also uh, visit our app. And so I'm going to post the instructions right here. It's a great way for you to jump onto our app, take a look at past um, um, devotionals as well as uh, teachings um, and our, our sermons that we've had of past during COVID. It's a great opportunity for you to just, if you need something refreshing, to, to jump right in and grab something there. As well, uh, that's where you can give. We also have a Bible study uh, reading plan is there as well. And then also access to all of our other social media sites. Um, so it's a great way for you to get, stay connected with us. Um, tonight, uh, as daily devotion is found in John chapter 14, verse number 27. And it reads as follows. It says, I am leaving with you a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. And so, you know, I think when I, when I hear this uh, message, I just don't hear about peace. I hear about my peace. You know, and, and here's the thing, is that people can give you peace, but it's not the peace of God. I'm gonna say that to you again. You will find peace. People can even offer, you know, I want peace between us. I don't want problems with us. They'll try to make peace with you, but that is not the peace of God. And that's what we're talking about in this portion of scripture. The deep, undisturbing uh, peace of God. That's what it is. That nothing can, can waver you. That's what it means by being undisturbing. That you can face anything within your life and it won't disturb you where you're at because you have the peace of God. When man gives you peace, it can be troubled at times. When man provides you or extends you peace, it can change in a moment. You offend, you, you disappoint, um, you, you, you don't meet up to an agreement and all of a sudden peace is broken. But not with God, his is undisturbing. His peace that he gives is everlasting. And see, this is what's wrong with our world today, is that we, we thrive in the idea of peace that is offered through this world, through countries, through families, um, through, through states, through, through uh, different programs, and even uh, all, the, all the different, different uh, 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 groups that we have within our world, they have, uh, you know, I want peace between uh, 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 gangs or peace between, between uh, different programs of the, of the world of, of, of guns and, and, and different medicines. We, God, there's so many ways that people in this world look for peace. And they're looking for that so that we can live in a common world. But God says, I give you a peace that's mine. And that's the peace that no matter what, it can't be interfered with. You see, man tried to live according to his peace and Satan interfered with that and it was broken. And then the Lord comes along and says, now I'm gonna give you a peace that can't be taken away. I'm gonna give you a peace that can be given through my son's blood only. And so I, I wanna challenge you. It's not, it's not that, 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 that hard uh, understanding to, to, to embrace. It's, it's really saying, are you searching for peace in the wrong areas? For the Lord tells us that he gives us not only peace of mind, but heart, that we can rest and be assured that whatever he's doing, he's got complete control over it. It's amazing how, how people get, get taunted and, and, and even the disciples through that whole time period were really kind of pushed and, and prodded at. And yet we see even the Lord questioned, who are you? And all of them reveal, all of them show peace. When confronted, when, when, when uh, persecuted, and in the case of Christ, when even when he was crucified, there's a peace about him. And that's what God is giving us, the peace that we can face troubles, face circumstances, face the kind of, uh, uh, of difficulties that this life offers and still have a peace that God's still in control. And that's what I want you to walk away with tonight. I want you to remember, Paul says, the peace of God should be uh, something that is, is guarding my heart. Wonderful, man, I love that. It, it, it's something that stands guard, that nothing can, can break me from inside. And that's what I want you to walk away with tonight. That God wants to give you a peace that not only guards your heart and mind, but it protects you from anything coming in to, to, to destroy, to bring confusion, to bring doubt, to, to bring in their separation or division. Now, the peace that God gives brings you assurance of where you are. 
I want to pray for you tonight. Let's believe for the peace of God and whatever we're facing. It's just, it's just purely just trusting in God and saying, Lord, I want your peace. Pray with me. Father, I thank you for tonight's daily devotion as a fresh reminder of the peace that you give. This world offers a form of peace, but it's not your peace. You said, my peace I give to you. That peace I want consistently within my life, holding on to it and believing and trusting in it. And I pray that over your children, God. I pray that no matter what they're facing, what they're experiencing, or more importantly, whatever they have to endure in this very hour, let the peace that you give them, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, let it prevail in their hearts and minds. I pray blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you. And may he give you peace throughout this week. Hey, God bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night for our day, last uh, daily devotion. And then Sunday, as we get ready to, again, celebrate Valentine's Day and spend it with the people that we love. Amen. God bless you.